Hey, what's up guys? How y'all doing today? So today I'm taking something out of Joe Simpson's uh, playbook or his video list actually because honestly I watched the video, I loved it, and I have a cheap Pelican kayak. There's one up there on the wall behind me, but uh, I got another one down here that I'm about to start working on. Don't look at my messy garage. It, it, it's a work in progress. There's projects. This is, this is the life of DIY. There's projects. It's cool. Anyways, this is the seat that I'm gonna be putting on today. It's a little boat seat from Wise, and something right off the bat that uh, Joe Simpson said, uh, but he didn't make a real like hard point of it. Um, it's gotta be a Wise seat. The brand is Wise, and I'll show you the reason why. So on out. the bottom of the seat, this is where your legs come out. That's the, that's the back of the seat. The important thing about this brand of seat, Wise, it has this hole here, and this hole here, and that's gonna be where you're running your aluminum bar across, uh, and that is really what makes the design. So you, you wanna get this brand. I, I'm gonna save you the pain. I actually got a different brand uh, from Academy. I thought, hey, it's the same thing, it's gonna work. Well, newsflash, it didn't. So now I've got this a week later, and we're gonna put it in. And this, guys, this is the seat we're replacing. Uh, it's the flimsy back. You're sitting on plastic, your butt's getting wet. The idea of this seat is to bring you up, give you some storage underneath the seat, and keep you a little bit drier. I'm gonna leave these here, just cause I don't need to fill that hole and maybe I'll use this, who knows. But uh, all I've done so far is cut off the little tabs from Pelican that were on there blocking it, and now I'm gonna drill out these rivets. All right, y'all, so, Use a drill bit that fit right inside the, uh, the rivet head and uh, got the seat off super easy. It took me like 30 seconds. All right, and there's where it looks like. That's where the seat had mounted. And what we're gonna do, I got these quarter 20 well nuts. I'm gonna drill this out a little bit bigger and then these are gonna slide right in. When you look for them, I got these at Lowe's. Um, they're in the specialties. Uh, containers wherever those are in the hardware and it'll literally say quarter 20 well nuts that's them so guys in order to make these holes what I did was line the seat up on top of it now the screws gonna go through here and into the seat but what I did was I marked it off and then I took a punch and punched my hole so the drill bit will be able to set down in that hole and I'm not gonna make a giant mess all right, y'all, we're back. So a lot of that DIY I could not film. One, it was a little stressful. And two, I'm, I'm just still figuring this out. So anyways, the little flapper back is gone. And now, of course you can. Where you at? Hi. <laughs> All right. So the flapper back is gone, and now the wise seat is installed. Uh, just like Joe Simpson, I'm gonna I'm gonna list that or link that video down below or up here somewhere. Anyways, so the parts that I had to figure out for myself from Joe's video, four wheeler brake, uh, was this this bar right here. This is three quarter inch aluminum, um, square tubing, and you know once once you figure it out, it, it works pretty good. But, uh, so Joe's was a little different. This spot right here was actually inset. And here, let me flip this around. So this spot right here are, was inset. All, it all, pardon the children noise. And it already had a well nut in it. I had to make my own since I didn't have that. I put it actually right, ooh, too close. Right on the top of this crease on the kayak the well nut's gonna pull tight and seal, so I wasn't worried about it. And I just used quarter 20 um, screws, stainless steel, they're two inches long. So enough to get down through the bar, through the well nut, and pull it all tight. Honestly, the hardest part to all this is back here. This is where the magic happens, all in this three quarter inch uh, PVC back here. With mine, I've got this U-shaped cutout. So 
you really have to put some thought into how high you make this. It determines your seat height, <laughs> and it determines what's all going on. When you make these holes, the big holes for the screws to go through, do it, use, use a pilot hole. Man, my kids are not gonna let me get this done. Anyways, that's the gist of it. No, watch out! There's the seat. I know your main question right now is stability. We're gonna figure that out next weekend when I get on the water. I'm just gonna pour right into that video from this one so y'all get to see it. But so far, I'm pretty stoked.